guys welcome back to another video i'm Paige, and if you're new here a special welcome to you so in today's video i'll be discussing ways that can help you to stop procrastinating yes everybody struggles with it even myself but i think that these tips can definitely help you in stop procrastinating <laughs> The first thing that you want to do is to eliminate your distractions. So what do I mean by that? You're going to get rid of the phone. The phone is the biggest distraction. Trust me when I tell you. It, it definitely can have you. You can be on your phone for hours and you don't even know it. So you said, oh, I'm going to check. I'm going to check Instagram to message my lecturer or something like that. And then... Two tools, you know it. You're on Instagram scrolling for hours. So we're going to eliminate the distraction. We're going to get rid of the phone. Put it on airplane mode so you're not getting any notifications or anything like that. Put it on silent, vibrate. We're going to get rid of the phone. Any form of distraction. It doesn't even have to be the phone. It can be your TV. You're going to turn off the TV and the remote. Get, get rid of anything that distracts you from doing the work that you need to do. Trying to reward yourself. I'm going to write an essay. I have an essay to do, right? If you write this essay, I can talk to my friends after. You can go to the beach after you write the essay. Think about getting the essay out of the way. Then you can do the things that you enjoy the next thing is to create deadlines for yourself so the essay is due october 27 do it october 23rd the 23rd of october right so we have to create certain deadlines for ourselves to make sure that we don't do it um the day before and we're not uh, feeling pressured or stressed so when you do it at an earlier time, then you can do other tasks, you can relax more, but doing it the day before, it just causes more stress. So the next thing is breaking up the work into parts. I have an essay to write, which is five paragraphs. We're going to do a paragraph a day. So the essay is due on thursday right and today is monday we do a paragraph a day or two paragraphs a day so we say okay i'll write instruct i'll write the introduction today tomorrow i'll write paragraph one and so on so breaking up the work in small parts it definitely helps it kind of helps you not to be not to feel overwhelmed and when you break up the working parts, you feel a lot better. You're more relieved. You don't have to be stressing to complete it. And the work is done better. Some persons might say that, oh, I work best under pressure and all of that. I don't think that's true. That is, no one likes to be stressed. And if you like to be stressed, well, <laughs> something wrong with you. Something is definitely wrong with you. But I'll definitely advise you guys to take the work do the working steps so you're going to say okay i'll do section one today i'll do the next section tomorrow so that definitely definitely will help get someone to motivate you the people you talk to influence your behavior so if you're talking to people who them lazy and them no want to no work and they they say okay i'll i'll do the work um the day before those type of persons won't help you in getting your work done or helping you to achieve your goals so talk to persons who are more productive talk to someone who knows what they want and go after it next thing is get help from people so say you have an essay to do right yes i'm going to say, i'm using the same essay example you have an essay to do you can and you say you, you don't know how to approach this essay you don't know how to start this essay you don't know what to what is supposed to be in this essay 
get go to someone who has already who has done the essay already so you're going to say okay um sasha have you how do i start this essay what do i put in this essay and all of that right so getting getting help from somebody can definitely help you in stop procrastinating because some persons procrastinate because they don't know what to do and they don't know how to start the work but if you get if you talk to somebody who already who has already done the work and knows what to do then it can definitely help you so the last thing is thinking about the consequences if i watch netflix and wait and put off that work until the day before is that going to benefit me how can netflix benefit me how can netflix help me in becoming a doctor can netflix help me to pass that test mm? can it so we definitely you definitely need to think about the consequences of procrastinating i think that that, that definitely will help you in not procrastinating Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Share with your friend. Leave a comment down below. Tell me some things that you want to see in other videos.